hey guys it's me Tolha. in today's video we will be modeling this apartment building facade design in Revit. now before we begin if you find this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week now let's get started so here i have this project file open i created this simple uh, building model for this tutorial if you would like to follow along you can uh, download this project file from my patreon page anyway first i think i should delete these walls here and let's go to level one and i'm going to create wall here so let's select this wall and press cs on the keyboard and let's create a wall at three feet six inches and then we can create a dimension here hit tab key to select this face and let's select this wall and i will just make it one foot six inches let's delete this dimension then we can just align this wall with this one using the align tool like so let's go to 3d now now here we need to create uh, some detail lines for the reference so let's press dl on the keyboard to select detail line and i will create a detail line here like this here we want to create six partitions so for that we need to create five of these lines so let's select this one press cs to create similar and i will create five uh, detail lines here like so now to equally divide the distance between these lines we can create dimensions di hit tab key to highlight this face and then just create uh, dimensions like this here also we need to press tab key select this face and then we get this uh, little eq button just click on it there we go now we got the equal distance between these lines let's delete this dimension click unconstrain and now we can create a zigzag walls here using uh, these lines as a reference so let's press wa on the keyboard and just make sure location line is set to finish face exterior and let's create a wall from this point to this and then select this wall and press dm on the keyboard and mirror this wall from this line now let's select both of these walls and i'm just going to copy them from this point let's copy one here and another one here now we can delete these lines we don't need them anymore so we have created this zigzag walls here now i'm going to create curtain walls here so let's select wall from here and then i'm going to select storefront from this drop down and i will first uh, change the top constraint to unconnected so we can give it a height i'm going to give eight feet height here and we'll create curtain walls like this let's go to 3d you see it's looking something like this now let's select these walls here so i'll just hover over this wall and hit tab key then click and then hold shift key and deselect this wall and let's change the height of these walls so i will just change the top constraint to level 3 there we go now uh, we want to select these three walls and change the base constraint to level 2 let's select the remaining walls here the three of these and then we can change the top constraint of these walls let's click here and select level 2 there we go now here i think we should uh, align these walls so let's press al on the keyboard and pick this face and then this one and then let's select this face and then this one let's quickly repeat that here 
now let's create a floor here so I will just copy this one select this floor copy to clipboard and then paste align to selected levels and I will just select level 2 here just click OK now we want to edit this floor but before that we will just align uh, this walls with this one so let's press AL on the keyboard and check this multiple alignment select this face and then we'll select the uh, these walls here on this side as well so it's looking something like this now we can edit this floor select the floor edit boundary and go to level 2 and here let's select pick lines and I'm just going to pick the edges of these walls here like so let's use trim tr and just trim these lines okay here I think uh, we can just delete this one and create a line here because we want to create a balcony so let's use trim trim this one and here we should split this line SL and split from here then use TR and just trim these lines so we have created this profile just click finish and just click attach walls so let's go back to 3D and you can see these walls now attach with this floor so it's looking something like this now let's copy this wall to the other level so let's select this one you don't need to select the uh, curtain walls because if you, if we copy this wall it will automatically copy the curtain walls as well so let's click here copy to clipboard and then paste to level 2 there we go as you can see the curtain walls also copied to the other levels now let's go to right view here and we'll just make a selection like this and then hold control key and select these two floors and then copy paste align to selected levels and we'll select level 3 just click ok there we go okay here I think we, we need to edit this floor so let's click edit boundary go to level 3 and let's uh, pick the these walls here let's trim these lines let's click finish click attach again let's go back to 3d there we go for the roof also we can I think we can copy this one select that copy to clipboard again and we'll paste it on level 5 there we go let's go to level 4 and select all of these walls by right clicking select all instances visible in view go back to 3d and click attach just attach to this floor perfect now i think we are almost done with modeling this facade design we only need to add the railings here so first i will go to level one and I'm going to select railing from here and let's use uh, pick lines again and I will give 6 inches offset and we want to create a railing from here let's drag it to this wall and to this point here and then and then we can select this and create similar again again let's use pick lines give 6 inches offset 
and we'll pick these lines let's go to 3d and we can just select both of these and change the railing type let's use this one there we go I will quickly create the railing uh, on the other levels here So I have added the railings. Now let's work on the roof. So let's go back to level five and I'm going to create walls here. Let's select six inch wall. And I'm going to change the location line to finish face exterior. And then create a rectangle here like so let's select this one and make it 28 feet and here i'm going to create a curtain wall so let's select wall and then select storefront from here and we'll create a storefront like this perfect now i think we we need to change the height of these walls so just hover over on this one hit tab key to highlight all uh, these walls and then we can just change the top constraint to roof and let's copy this floor select that and i will copy this floor to the roof here just click ok edit boundary and i'm just going to drag this line to this wall here click finish and then attach there we go let's go to roof and here also I'm going to create a 6 inch wall let's change the height to 1 foot and and change the location line to finish face exterior and we'll create a rectangle like this so we got this small a parapet here as well so that's how to create a stylish apartment building facade in revit the video is already too long so i will end this tutorial here in the next part i will be sharing some tips and tricks on how to create a pergola with slats at different angles in revit so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video